Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time. Today we're talking about how to safely operate our drones, UAVs and multi-rotors over water. Actually, people are quite afraid of that. And there are some things that you should actually take care of, but it can be done by everyone, I'm quite sure. Stay tuned, fly safe and watch this episode of mine. This episode of Tom's Tech Time is brought to you by Filmgate, professional and affordable aerials and aerial photographs in whole Germany. Check it out yourself, www.film-gate.de. First hint, start your copter and take a look at the Go app. Tap at the copter symbol at the upper left hand side to bring up the MC settings menu. Now you tap at advanced settings and now you make sure to disable the vision positioning system, otherwise your copter can easily get disoriented when flying low to the moving surface. Second hint, stay away from obstacles that could interfere with your Phantom's compass, such as lighthouses or huge container ships. And next you should make sure you stay away from bigger antennas that can mostly be found on a ship's tip, for example the highest mast or the ship's bridge. Third hint, sounds very basic but keep in mind to check for obstacles that could be in your Phantom's way and keep in mind that your lens is a wide angle lens and that objects might be closer than they appear. If flying low to the surface you should take one or two minutes to stare at the waves to get a feeling for their rhythm, that way you can avoid crashing into a wave. And I was serious, don't only watch one wave but you will see that waves come in an order and you will definitely want to know about the highest wave. Fourth hint, now this hint could really save your copter. Stay away from seagulls always. Usually they are situated on cliffs close to the coastline and mostly these tricky beasts are not even alone. And don't you think they cannot follow your copter? I know that this clip is only about 3 seconds long, but I swear to god that this seagull chased my copter in full speed for at least 20 seconds. Now I know what my next Halloween costume is finally going to look like. Fifth hint, if you're planning on going for a long distance flight, listen to wise old Mr. Tom and use the course lock function of your copter. What course lock is and how it works, check the description of this video or tap at the info box popping up right now to get to watch my really informative episode on the course lock function. And I'm not kidding, course lock is really the very best and most awesome mode and you will never ever get disoriented again. Sixth hint, think of the fact that while flying over the sea, there is a nice calm breeze often. And don't you be so foolish and especially unlucky and underestimate those winds. If your battery is low but the Go app still shows you that you will make your way home, don't take it to the limit but return early enough and before the system tells you to. Otherwise the Phantom might have to fly against the wind which then causes the Phantom lots and lots more power and the battery won't be lasting long enough. Use your battery conservative. Seventh hint, if you want to take off of a boat, make sure you have some space all around the UAV and keep in mind that the ship might be moving while the Phantom wants up in the air will hold its GPS position. If your space is very limited, from my very own experience I can only tell you to lift the copter up and fly it straight over the railing. That way you won't crash into anything or anyone and because usually you are the person right behind the Phantom, you that way avoid the Phantom crashing into you. Hint number eight. Okay, let's imagine you crashed into the water and now is there a chance to get your gear back? Yes, sometimes you can make it even work after a proper rinse and some drying. Sometimes you might have to only change some parts and not the entire UAV and uh, sometimes of course the entire system is broken but at least you get back your micro SD card. Back to the topic, there are three recommendations or at least hints. First one, check out tomstechtime.com gadgets to find the link pointing at the very very best UAV sticker store in the United States of America and they ship internationally. By the way, these stickers are definitely long lasting, I tested them myself and you can have your phone number or name or whatever printed onto one of these stickers as well. So if your phantom ever ends up, I don't know, in the hands of a trustworthy person, you might celebrate a late reunion. And yes, I have one of those stickers attached to my copter as well. Next, check out my tutorial on the water boy. That USB stick looking alike system is supposed to bring your phantom back to the surface after a wet landing. If things work or fail, check out the link in the video description or tap at the info box at the upper right hand side of the screen popping out right now. Finally, I haven't tested it myself but the getter back system sounds interesting at least even though it might be hard to find the small floating device that is attached to a cable and that if pulled out of the water should bring your phantom back to the surface. My ninth hint only tells you to be a man and keep calm. If your gear goes down over water, you mostly only use your phantom. Crashes over land can easily cause more trouble by crashing into people, onto roads or, I don't know, into other obstacles. Stay cool and act professionally at all times and keep in mind that you, if you are a safe pilot, 
over land you are probably going to be a safe pilot over the water as well. Last but not least, my 10th hint, be awesome and prepared and have your diver's license and equipment right with you if you want to look like an overprepared German. Actually, I haven't seen one yet, but still, if a person is that nervous and afraid, it's probably going to be a German. Thank you guys for watching. Would be awesome if you would subscribe and leave a thumb up. Next, it would be cool if you would return the help at www.tomstechtime.com slash donate so I can keep up the work. And finally, it would drive people crazy if you and your knowledge and experience would join my Facebook group so we can keep in touch and share thoughts and wishes on our DJI gear. www.facebook.com slash group slash Tom's Tech Time. This was Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Fly safe.